In this video, we're going to look at how we can find and import shortcuts from the shortcuts gallery on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. This is a great way to learn how to use shortcuts. There are a number of different shortcuts that are available in the gallery, and then you can import them and modify them to your workflow. Let's see how we do this. Let's first look at this on my Mac. So I'm in my Shortcuts app. This is where we find all of these different shortcuts we want to import in the Shortcuts app. And if we look over in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see I have Gallery. This is basically where we can see all of the different shortcuts that we can import. These are shortcuts that are not installed on your Mac. They're not installed on your iPad or your iPhone. Basically what we need to do is we need to import these into our shortcuts app to use them. Now when we look at these different shortcuts here in the gallery, you'll see that some of them have a plus, while other ones have a check mark. When it has a check mark, this means that it is installed on your device. So in my case here, the stop distractions that I got from the gallery is installed on my Mac, iPad, and iPhone. But if I wanted to import turn text into audio, this one here is not installed because it has a plus. So what I would do is I would click on the plus, it bring it into my shortcuts app, and then I can go and modify it. We have different categories here. We have get stuff done. I can swipe over to the right to view more. We have get organized, essentials. If I want to see all of the shortcuts within a category, I go over to the right, click on see all, and now I'm viewing all of the essentials. When I'm looking at it in this view, I do get a description of what each one does. So you can easily see what each shortcut does before you import it. I'm going to go back. Now, before you install it in your Shortcuts app, what you can also do is view the actions. To do that, let's go over to this shortcut here, Email Last Image. I don't want to add it yet, but I would like to view what the different actions are in this shortcut. Well, all I have to do is just click on it. And then what I do is I click on the three dots here. And when I do that, I can view what the actions are. So if I were to install this, what it would do is it would get the last one photo and then it would send that last photo to recipients. I click on done. I want to add it. I go and add the shortcut. And now we can see that the shortcut has been added. I go back over to all of my shortcuts and there it is. Now what I want to do is I want to modify this. Well, I just double click on it and let's say I wanted to get the last two photos. I click on one photo here and now it's going to get the last two photos. I want to send it to a specific person. Click on this and I can go and add a specific person in here. So if you email photos to a specific person on a regular basis, you can easily create a shortcut to do that for you. Maybe you'd rather send it as messages. Well, all you have to do is delete this action here. And then we go over to apps. I'm going to go to messages. And I drag send messages out. And it's going to send that last photo over to a specific recipient. Now, being that I changed how it sends that message, what I may want to do is go up to email last image here and change this to message last image. So the gallery here, I'm going to close this. So the gallery here is a great way to find shortcuts that you want to change for your workflow. Let's see how this works on the iPad and iPhone. I'm going to go to my iPad and iPhone here. We're first going to go to my iPad. You do have to be in the Shortcuts app. You can see that I'm in my Shortcuts app. And if we go over to the left here, you're gonna see I have Gallery. I click on it, and now I can see all of the different shortcuts. Again, we have our plus here. This tells me that I can add it. And when it has a check mark, that means that I already have it installed. If I want to view it, what I do is I double click on it. So let's go to how many days until. And now what I can do is I can view it. I click on the three dots and I can see those actions that are in this shortcut. If I like it, I can set up the shortcut. Works the same way on the iPhone. If I go over to my iPhone, I'm in the shortcuts app. If we go down to the bottom here, you're gonna see I have gallery. 
I click on it to view all of the different shortcuts that are available. I can search, I can swipe up, and then find the shortcut I want to add. If I want to add it to my shortcuts, I click on the plus. If I have a check mark here, that means that it's already installed. To view all of the actions within a shortcut before I install it, I just tap on it. I don't tap on the plus, that's going to add it. But what I do do is tap on it, and now I can read more about it. And then, if I tap on the three dots here, I can actually see all of the actions. Anything that is gray, I can change once I import it into the Shortcuts app. And once I add it to my Shortcuts app, being that I'm using iCloud, it will be added to all of my different devices. So that's how we can find shortcuts that we may want to use for our workflow. We do this through the gallery. This is all in the Shortcuts app. We can search for different shortcuts. They're categorized. If they have a check mark, that means that we've already installed it. If they have a plus, that means that I can install it. If I want to view the different actions before I install it, what I can do is tap on it to open it up or click on it to open it up. And then on the Mac, we just click on the shortcut. It'll open it up in a new window. I can see all of the actions. On the iPad and iPhone, I tap on the three dots. Once I add it into my shortcuts app, I'm able to edit it for my workflow. So that's how we use the gallery to view different shortcuts that we have available to us in the Shortcuts app.